Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to look at something a little different, and that's Fuse Tools. This is a way to build native applications on iOS and Android using JavaScript. Fuse is a little different in the sense that it may use JavaScript, but it doesn't use HTML. We have this UX language that we can use to sort of display our user interface. We're going to take a look at this in more detail and we will make our first Fuse application. This will be a simple button that when we click shows a greeting. Head over to FuseTools.com and download Fuse. Click the Get Fuse Now button, fill in your email address and download and install the project. When you've done that, you can either use the graphical user interface or the command line to make a new Fuse project. I'm going to say Fuse Create App. And then the name of the app is going to be greeting. We now get the created project greeting at that directory and we can CD into greeting and say fuse preview. This will start the iOS emulator. So as quick as that, the application has been loaded, built in seven seconds and we have an empty app. Let's open this up inside of VS Code. Because we're dealing with .ux files, we won't actually have any sort of code highlighting. So we will need to download an extension for this. And I've downloaded both the Fuse Build Log plugin and the Fuse Language plugin for VS Code. When you've done that, we'll have code highlighting and we'll be able to get on making our project. We can think of our views as pages and if people want to see more Fuse videos, we can take this in more detail and look at how we create our own pages. But for now, we'll simply put all the logic inside this main view.ux. And we can start off by making a stack panel. If you've used something like native script before, you'll know what a stack panel is because you'll have used it in the past. Essentially, everything is stacked on top of one another. Inside of our stack panel, we can have a button and we can say the text of the button is equal to show greeting. And if we save this and take a look inside of our emulator, we have show greeting and this is at the top aligned in the center. Let's align our stack panel using alignment equal to center. And this will change our button to be in the center of the page. And we can hook into the buttons clicked attribute and we can say clicked. And when we do click the button, we want to toggle a particular function. We can decide what we want to toggle by saying target and supplying the toggle with a target node. And at the moment, I'm going to say show greeting. So we're toggling the show greeting node. We need to create that. And we can do that by saying while true. So only show this while true. And we can hook into the UX name of that show greeting. And that's what we're toggling. So we're toggling the show greeting and we're saying while this show greeting is true, we want to display a text view. And the text view will simply say hello fuse. Let's take a look by clicking the button show greeting. And we see hello fuse. I want to align the text view in the center by saying alignment center. And now when we click it, it will be aligned in the center, similar to that button. We've created our first mobile application then with Fuse and we could deploy this to iOS or Android. I think it's always good to look at different ways in which we can make mobile applications. We have things like Ionic, React Native, Native Script, Xamarin and the likes, but Fuse is one of those projects that's sneaking up in that scene. If you're interested, we can look at more Fuse videos, incorporate things like TypeScript and much more. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see that. And until next time, my name is Paul and this has been a Hello World with Fuse Tools.